talking about practicing math with a continuum. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I appreciate you. now that you're just all going to be folding paper all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so just go ahead, get it done. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, I'm sure we all agree that we want students to practice math. Um, you give students a worksheet, though, and that's one of the most exciting things that they can do in a math class, I realize. Um, it's also really not reasonable to go all 10,000 hours on them uh, for practicing a particular skill. But the research does say that deliberate practice is the best for learning anything. Um, and so what we've done is we've started to look at a different way to do the worksheet. Um, and it doesn't work for all topics, but we start to use this idea of a continuum. So, uh, for example, uh, this is an example of what it might look in the like in the classroom. This is one that we did for fractions. And what we end up doing is we end up making uh, oh, cards that have fraction questions, these adding, this is adding fractions, uh, that are of increasingly higher difficulty, but incrementally so. So I'm gonna actually pull the, uh, the cards up here. So uh, starting with a, a visual representation of just adding with like uh, denominators, then a numerical representation, adding with adding, subtracting with like denominators, then we have visual, visual and numerical with unlike denominators, mixed fractions, uh, adding multiples, a little bit of uh, extended multiplication, and then some uh, higher level addition and subtraction problems. I mean, the key here is that uh, what we do is we, we let students, usually in the day before, we'll give an exit card, give them some practice problems to kind of see where they're most comfortable with. Because you actually don't want everybody starting at the lowest card level. We actually design them so that the lowest ones are really easy, and the highest ones are beyond what we expect them to get to. So that Somewhere in there, everybody should be a, have, a, have a place to start and have a place to go. And um, one of the neat things that we do with this is it's, it's actually runs by itself. So once you have that exit card and those kids come in and you actually assign them an envelope to start with, uh, they just go and we just say, okay, do five questions on your card. If you get them right, go to the next card. If you didn't get them all right, you've got five more questions on that card. Uh, maybe come ask me for some help, uh, and I can get you through that card, and then we can help you move up to the next card. And then do that for the next card, and the next card, and the next card. And it basically runs itself because they actually check their answers themselves. And one of the neat parts of this is, is how we have them check their answers. Uh, and what we actually have them do is we write the answers on a separate card using this uh, UV pen. And uh, the kids grow up. They shine the UV pen on the answer card and they check their answers there. So it's like a magic pen. They magically check their answers. They go up and invariably, uh, we have kids, uh, we have this quote, uh, I can't believe this is math class, because, or am I crazy because I'm having fun? And this is a kid solving equations, right? Uh, so uh, it's a really kind of a neat way to trick kids into doing math, but honestly I think the real trick here is not the UV pen, it's the incremental steps in the difficulties of, of the problems. Um, it's not good for every particular skill, you really have to have a skill that you can actually increment, uh, that you, you can make, uh, here's a little bit more difficult problem because of this characteristic, here's a little bit more difficult problem because of this characteristic, uh, but when you can find that, it's actually a really great way for them to, to practice skills. And so, uh, of course, I got my, my, my blog there on the side there, uh, and if you search on the side for continuum, on uh, the, the keywords, uh, we've got about five there right now. Uh, this last one I did was for trig identities. I'm not, con not completely sure that it's actually a continuum. They're just different problems each card. But we've got some with solving equations. We've got some with um, trig identities. Uh, we've got visual rates of change with uh, linear relationships. A um, couple in the can that aren't quite published yet. We've got uh, uh, factoring trinomials that's going to be coming out soon, and uh, solving uh, rational functions, uh, inequa uh, inequalities, and equations. Uh, that'll be out soon as well. So uh, you're welcome to try those out. 
These you can get on Amazon for really cheap. Um, uh, I think just search for a UV pen and you can buy like eight for 10 bucks or something like that. And uh, it's a really kind of a neat way to have kids uh, practice a worksheet uh, in a way that is engaging for them. So uh, give it a try.